high students especially six standard students now i am going to teach you a lesson that means from your six standard english book first unit and the first, very first lesson i am going to teach you what is the title of the lesson sea turtles the sea turtles there are seven types of mar seven types of marine sea turtles all over the world but in india there are only five species that means five varieties what are all the five varieties the olive ridley hawk's bill the green sea turtle the logger head and the leather back among this five turtles which is the smallest one the olive ridley it is commonly seen olive ridley is commonly seen in sandy beaches okay in beach areas we can see them it is a common species your olive ridley is a common species okay it is the smallest species and it weighs up to 35 kg 35 kg 35 kg okay and which is the largest one the leather back okay the leather back it weighs up to 700 kg okay the largest of the sea turtles okay Uh, let me tell you something that means the difference between a tortoise and a sea turtle what is the difference only one difference sea turtles are huge in size but the tortoise tortoises are smaller in size they are smaller than the sea turtles okay sea turtles live in the oceans but they have connection with the land you know do you know how the sea turtles must come to the sand banks to the sandy areas to lay their eggs okay we have seen five types of sea turtles here among the five we saw that the olive ridley is a common species but the remaining four species are extremely rare species they are extremely rare they are not commonly found in the coastal areas okay so that is all about the first section children now we are going to discuss section b that means the second part of the lesson between the months of january and march the sea turtles especially the olive ridleys come ashore especially at night to lay their egg they choose a safer place to make a cavity and lay their eggs to keep them to protect them they will choose a safer place okay nearly 100 eggs they will lay and 
you know the cavity how deep it will be 45 cm deep 45 cm okay that much deep uh, cavity they will make with the help of the flippers they will make okay you know the x of a, of a sea turtle each egg will be in the size of a table tennis ball okay the eggs will be hatched in 45 to 60 days some may hatch in 45 days and some may hatch in 60 days and they especially the eggs that are escaped from the predators they may they may hatch some eggs will be taken by the predators some uh, eggs will be taken by the people and some are taken by the uh, animals especially jackals domestic dogs etc okay so only some eggs are protected they go under incubation and the young ones will be hatched from the eggs protected eggs and you know the young ones they are very much smart they will break the egg with their pointed nose they will come out of the eggs and you know they are very fast they move much fast faster to the sea to meet their elders to live with their elders they go much faster okay so the eggs are hatched in so many places and such places are chosen only by the elder olive ridleys so that is all about your section b okay dear children now we are going to discuss section c you know the hatchling they face more danger before going into the sea and even on the way to the sea the crabs will eat them some of the hatchlings will be eaten by the crabs some of them will be eaten by the birds and even after reaching the sea some hatchlings will be eaten by the sea birds the sea animals and all scientists have estimated that out of 1000 uh, hatchlings only one hatchling remains one hatchling survives only one sea turtle becomes adult and that sea turtle comes back i mean comes to the shore at night where did the sea turtle go the sea turtle goes to the same place where the turtle was born to that same place the turtle goes in the same place it protects the egg the eggs and again the again the hatchlings will be coming back this and all is really a this and all are really mysteries really a surprising thing we should wonder how god has created all this you know i really wonder how god has created all this and how the sea turtles live how do they survive how do they lay eggs how do they make cavity to lay eggs i wonder at all this i feel very much surprised and very much happy okay then there are some other uh, danger for the sea turtles you know the human activities what are all the activities construction work plastic dumping that means throwing plastics into the sea 
all the artificial activities carried out by the human beings spoil the growth of the sea turtles do you agree my dear children you should agree because this is the fact our activities all our activities of pollution all our activities of selfishness spoil the growth of animals especially the sea turtles hmm? do you all agree we take away the sea turtle kill them for meat and we take away the eggs we cook whatever kind of food we want we cook and eat their eggs and some um, animals also they take away the their eggs even though the sea turtles are less than 20 grams they get caught by the animals they may be smaller in size small in size when they were uh, young they get caught i mean they meet with the danger accidentally they were uh, they have been eaten by the um, eaten by the crabs by the birds and all i mean even some of us kill the turtles take their meat and cook clean cook and eat i think this is very bad very very bad okay so what do you understand from this what do you understand there are more mysteries about uh, sea turtles they are very much like us only they have to live as we live we live on this earth likewise the sea turtles must live we should think of the wild animals and we should put an end to all our selfish activities do you agree we should agree because nature is important for us the sea turtles may be in some way or the other may be useful for us so through our activities we should ensure that the sea turtles can continue to live okay so this is all about the sea turtles lesson okay thank you students